I wanna let you in on something. I dated a lot once upon a time, but I only had three serious relationships. And there was one ex that I have not seen or talked to in over six years. And we had a conversation on video. And let me tell y'all something. She had a little confession she had to make. All caught on video, so stay tuned because I will be uploading that video. Mm, maybe sometime next week, we'll see. All right, we're gonna get straight to it because this is a short video, but I'm excited to watch it. Easy and Natalie uploaded a video called Breaking My Silence, My Brother versus My Girlfriend. So I'm gonna approach this a little bit differently, only because it's Natalie's turn to talk. When Easy spoke and when Josh spoke, I saw right through the bullshit. In the last video, they brought up Natalie and her mental health, and mental health is something serious. So. I'm gonna approach this video as if it is realistic, but the second I see bullshit, I'ma call it, okay? And don't get mad if I do. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna get straight to it. Y'all ready to react? Cause I am, let's get it. They were both being extremely selfish, egotistical and childish. I honestly felt like my freaking heart was weak. Damn it, I'm, oh my God, why? I really wanted to fall for this, I really did, I promise you, but already in the first sentence, she used the word egocistic, ego, I can't even talk. She already used the word egotistical. That same word that Easy and Josh have been using towards each other. They've only used the words ego and controlling. Those are the two words they use, that's part of their storyline. And she's gonna go ahead and use that specific word. <sighs> okay, Let me, give me a second. I'm gonna pretend like I did not hear that sentence and we're gonna start fresh again, okay? Natalie, come on now, make me believe this. Ripped out of my chest when I saw those videos. And then... Oh, and the word selfish, I forgot that. They used egotistical, selfish, and controlling towards each other. I've tried to make this video a million times. I know you guys are waiting for me to say something, but I don't know. See, I gotta stop talking. I'm sorry, I missed a couple things. Hold on, because I heard that. I heard the little dramatic uh, music in the background when he went, when it went, boom. And then she started to talk. Let's see that again. Out of my chest when I saw those videos. And then... I've tried to make this video man. They made it dramatic. Why the theatrics? I know you guys are waiting for me to say something, but I don't know what to say. For the past couple of years, Easy and my brother have been beefing behind closed doors and sometimes even in front of everybody, but it was always just subtle, you know, questionable whether or not they were really, you know, going through it or not behind closed doors, I've been really emotionally going through it. To have two people that you love at each other's throats all the time, I can't even describe to you what that feels like. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. To have to feel You constantly have to feel like you have to choose. And all the time I'm choosing one of them, I wasn't choosing myself. I wasn't paying attention to how I was feeling and how it was literally tearing me down, how it was affecting my mental health. Sometimes I would literally feel sick to my stomach. It was physically affecting me. In this type of circumstance, if y'all been following me, you already know my backstory with my marriage. My ex-wife was in her shoes in real life. And I've always understood and I've always felt bad for the position she was in because it is exactly what she's describing. 
they literally shut down because they don't know what to do. You love your partner, but you love your family. Your family's for life, but you married, so your wife is also for life. And when they don't get along and they're clashing, there's a problem and they don't know what to do with it. They're stuck in the middle. I've always understood her position, so Natalie, I get that. The sad part is Easy and Josh used to be really close. Her and I were best friends, but so were they. They were inseparable because we were inseparable. Sometimes when you mix business with pleasure, um, it just doesn't mix right. When we started doing the family project together, I don't know, things started uh, getting like weird between Josh and Easy. They started getting too comfortable. You know how it is when you're around somebody all the time and you guys start getting on each other's nerves and bickering turns into arguing. And one day it just went too far. They argued and said things to each other that they couldn't take back. Really nasty and hurtful things. Okay, I like the fact that she's bringing up the initial argument that started this whole thing. The real argument. And from then, that was it. Th they're not gonna go in detail because that argument was factual. It was, it happened for real. So they're not gonna speak on family issues. Not in detail, at least. So it's expected. She ain't gonna say too much about it. But at least she's talking about the situation. The family project was over and so was their relationship. And honestly, it felt like so was my sanity. We were just best friends, Easy and I, but she she was like family to me even then. And to have my brother and Easy, my best friend, not even being able to be around each other. And I couldn't even go to anybody about it because nobody knew. Y'all didn't know. I had to just smile in front of the camera. Like, y'all have no idea. This is stupid as hell. <laughs> Why? Pay attention to this video. She's still down. She's still sad. She's still hurting. She's in pain. She looks like she's about to cry, which she probably will, you know, just to make it dramatic. The last video between Josh and Easy, they've already hashed it. Here, let me say that right. They've already hashed it. They're good now. They hugged and everything at the end of the video, smiling, joking. Why the fuck you still sad? You know why she's still sad? Because she still has not done her parts in the story yet. They should have uploaded this video first before Easy and Josh got together for that video. Y'all fucked up the storyline. But anyways, let's go ahead and keep watching. Like y'all have no idea. Like, bitch, why? Who cares? They good now, right? What that does to a person. They good now. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I thought that finally that was coming to an end. I thought that maybe the end of this horrible freaking dream was near and maybe we were going to be a family again. My brother invited Easy to Christmas and easy actually said yes and for once in a really long time they were both on the same page and trying to move forward and i felt so much relief christmas went great again with this christmas you know, thing so annoying they you guys saw it they bought each other gifts and everything then my brother decided to put out a video um he pranked us for those of you that don't know josh pranked easy and i and in the prank, obviously the prank, obviously it was too freaking soon, bro. <laughs> he decided to prank us, basically talking crap about Easy. And it triggered Easy. Easy got really upset. Oh shit, y'all saw that zoom, right? And it triggered Easy. <laughs> Let's see that again. And it triggered Easy. Easy got really upset. You know, Easy felt hurt by the stuff that Josh was saying. 
you know, and uh, my brother posted it anyway. My brother decided to post it. And Easy decided to post a video about basically how she doesn't like Josh. Basically telling the world what has been going on between them for the past two years. Girl, we're already past all this. Why are you giving us a recap? Do you guys want to know why? Because I can tell you. She's doing a recap to the new subscribers that have not been caught up to the story. So she's updating them. But this is all said and done already. It's been washed. Why are you sad? All of this happening in front of the entire world. Josh responded, now trashing easy after she trashed him. I literally couldn't believe it. Neither of them talked to me about this. Neither of them were thinking about me and what the, and what this was going to do to me. Sad music. What this was going to do to our relationship. My relationship with Easy, my relationship with Josh. Uh-oh. Playing music in the background. Here we go. They were both being extremely selfish. There's that third word. Remember, egotistical, controlling, and selfish. So far she's used egotistical and selfish. Egotistical and childish. <laughs> Yo, am I tripping? Am I fucking tripping? If, if I have not proven this enough to you guys, I don't know what else to tell you. You're gullible like a motherfucker or you dumb. One of the two, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to call y'all dumb, but it might just be that. She used the word childish, but it's actually controlling this. Controlling is the other word that they've been using, but I don't know, that'll work too, because they are both childish. Staged. I honestly- This is staged. This whole thing is staged felt like my freaking heart was being ripped out of my chest when I saw those videos. And then... And then what, girl? Tell us. Easy um, decided to go to Miami. Mm-hmm. Tell us all about it. How'd you feel? Oh, don't cry. In the midst of everything, in the midst of the videos going out, on top of it, basically questioning whether or not she can be with me because of her relationship with my brother. The sucky part is this trip was supposed to be something that was, you know, going to be good for us, for our relationship. We've been working so hard and I don't know, you know, we were going to celebrate with my mom, but it didn't go anywhere near as I expected it to. I saw the video um, of Josh and Easy talking. And what whenever happened? Whenever we got back from Miami. And how'd that make you feel? First and foremost, I'm just surprised that they actually sat down to talk. You know, I was happy to see that, but not happy to see them arguing the way that they did. The resolution being, you know, that they apologize to each other and stuff. And But they haven't apologized to I you? I mean, that's amazing. You know, it's amazing that they were able to do that. I just wish they would have been able to do that before dragging our relationships through the mud all over social media. There's been so much damage done at this point. You know, so much embarrassment. So many things said that cannot be taken back. I'm just drained, y'all. Like, I know I have to talk to both of them about everything. God damn. Are, are y'all... No way. No fucking way. I thought this video here, because you, you finally got to speak, was gonna be the last video of this staged performance. But I have a feeling that you're about to tell us that you're gonna be on video with both of them, with Easy and Josh, so it's gonna be all three of y'all together in one video now? Is that what you're gonna tell us? I just, I just, I just don't know what to say. And I don't know 
like at what point do I like draw the line like mentally like you know at what point do I say like all right I gotta look out for my mental health because at this point I don't think I can take any more any more of this unstable relationship between the two of them any more of being thrown under the bus any more of easy being able to question where we stand because of her issues with my brother any more of the separation or having to choose between the two of them i honestly don't know um, what's gonna happen at this point guys Oh my god. I thought y'all were going to finish here and y'all not. Just, I guess I just wanted to record this for those of you that were concerned. I ain't um, concerned. And wanted to hear from me. I don't want to hear from you no more. Basically what I'm going through and how I'm feeling about everything. Don't want to know because it's fake. Um, so I can care less about how you feel. Um, thank you. Thank you to everyone. And you use mental health for this bullshit. Now, there was a couple comments of people saying that, well, even if it's fake, at least they're giving awareness to mental health. How the fuck is this awareness? How is this awareness of mental health? They're using the term mental health to make you believe this story even more. That's a motherfucking problem. That's what I have an issue with. Because people like myself are actually going through some shit like that. Some real depression, some real anxiety. And not just people who, ha who are dealing with mental illnesses, but families that are around us also deal with it. But y'all gonna make this a fun situation, aren't you? You have been concerned and actually thought about me through this because that means a lot, you know? my real and true supporters like i've i've noticed before i watched the video i saw that it was uploaded and i saw the thumbnail that's all i saw was the thumbnail i didn't want to say this in the beginning of the video because i wanted to see the whole video to see if it was real and because I did not see it in the video, I know that that thumbnail was edited. I'm gonna show y'all something. And I'm gonna zoom into it so you guys can see it clearly. Cause I, I'm tired of this bullshit. In that thumbnail, and if you can't see it clearly on my video, look at it yourselves through your phone, through your laptop. In that thumbnail, Natalie's eyes are red. The top of her eyes are red as if she's been crying. She did not cry throughout the whole video. Didn't even shed a tear. Her eyes didn't even get watery. I was looking for that redness in her eyes that is in the thumbnail. Nothing. They edited the thumbnail to make it look dramatic so you can click onto that video. This whole thing is staged and I honestly, I support them as business women, but at this point, they're annoying the hell out of me. Can we just go back to regular videos because this thing is draining. All right, tell me what you thought about my video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.